Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're looking at some sound design I did for an audio drama created by Wise King Media They're for their Jonathan Park series. Um, this is a plane crash. <laughs> this is some of the first stuff that I uh, actually sound designed. So my organization was not quite there yet. So bear with me. And also the levels that I left tracks at were a little louder than they should be, but I left everything how it was so that you could take a look back and learn from past me on how not to do things now. So first I'll um, just kind of play through this little segment of the plane crash and then we'll dive in and take a look at some of the clips. And brace for impact like this, like this. Uh, uh, Dad, uh, we're about to hit the water. I know, I know. Hang on, everybody. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. So let's take a look at some of the backgrounds here. Um, I'm gonna start it a little bit earlier because kind of have the buildup of the plane starting to crash. Introducing some of that engine noise. Um, this is kind of before they actually notice that the plane is having things go wrong. And then I even added a little bit of wind, even though you technically wouldn't hear it, but added a little bit more information that we're going fast, you know. And then for as it crashes. So you can hear that. Um, I used, I was having a hard time finding the right, like, rattling of the airplane sound and I ended up finding a bus sound that sounded perfect and probably maybe overused it. I have it in there a couple of times, but it just adds that turbulence as you're getting shaken around and stuff inside the airplane. All right. So here's the engine for right before the crash. The anticipation. Um, and there's a little bit of the down. So I like had that, like it's speeding up. And then I kind of used a uh, plane crashing in the metal to like have the nose dive of the plane down there. Then we have the explosions for the impact. A little bit of debris in there. And then we have a lot more debris and then we also have some water effects as well after stuff kind of starts settling i added in lots of metal groans and creaks to hear the stress of the airplane um, as it's resting some water there so I love metal groans and creaks there's something very just satisfying about them I don't know what it is <laughs> call me a nerd lessons so all of that together again then is And there you go. So some lessons after looking back on this several years after sound designing, uh, organized a little bit better. I would have rather had like, it was someone organized like, okay, you've got some, you know, the, in, the debris here and some of the explosions here. Um, another thing would be to maybe not line everything up on the same transient. <sighs> It works, but it's also, it, it's a lot and kind of distorts and things are way too loud. Um, another way would be to maybe find less sounds, but that do the same thing that I'm wanting them to do. So 
it's hard to say. I mean, I would dug through libraries and trying to find what sounded right, and it still communicates it. Um, but finding something that served maybe multiple of these clips so you don't have so much noise just stacked on top of each other, that way you hear more of the distinct sounds um, would be kind of cool. But it still worked and served the purpose, and the guy uh, mixed it in. So here's what it sounds like fully mixed into the auto drama. And brace for impact like this, like this. Uh, Dad, we're about to hit the water! I know, I know. Hang on, everybody! And there you go. There's the final mix um, from the guy who was mixing this. I was just a sound designer. So, yeah, fun to learn some lessons looking back on old projects. That's always interesting. A little embarrassing, but interesting. And yeah, if you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe and make sure you like the video. Catch you in the next one. Can, can I break now? <laughs>